Hello, my name is back with more Space Engineers. Now, what am I doing on a Thursday recording a video that should normally be out on Sunday, if not Monday? Um, put a long story short, my birthday's tomorrow, and I kind of want to take a short break from YouTube, but only, about, only for about a week, so don't get you. Don't start screaming at me that I'm quitting YouTube. Not exactly. I just wish to take a small break. I'll probably, I'll probably reappear again uh, midway through next week, which would be about a week from now. Um, but regardless, I may as well give you an engineer's video just before I go on my very brief hiatus. And what have I got here today? Well, I got this massive thing up here, and the name of it is still not great. I'm never good with names. I, I, I just... I don't know, I, names are not what comes naturally to me, I mean, I'm terrible with names in real life, and, well, engineers and, like, naming things kind of goes hand in hand with that, but I'm calling it the Iron Whale as the only explanation for such a strange name would be, you know, imagine a whale, one of the larger ones, pick any variety you want, remove their fins so you get the basic body shape, it's kind of, I do mean kind of, in the vaguest possible sense, what this thing looks like. And essentially this is a massively, massively oversized transport ship. Why did I make this? Um, no real reason, other than the fact that I was um, watching some more Star Wars clips on YouTube, as often I let YouTube's autoplay just find me some new videos. Uh, it went down sort of a Star Wars trend, and the Star Wars Rebels uh, transport, not Star Wars Rebels in the series, but the Rebel transport ship uh, more specifically came to mind, and sort of how relatively simplistic it was. It was mostly just a, a rather hollowish iron sort of, well, I say iron, ho hollow metal uh, ca like casing, I suppose, with all of the cargo containers, as you can see inside here. Now, so, since I'm a bit too lazy, uh, someone in the comments, um, do someone do the maths here. Um, I've, I've added them up. We have 120 large cargo containers on board. If they were all fully loaded, how much would that actually weigh? Because as much as you can see, we are on Earth, which is not something I, I'm not always on Earth uh, for a change, but uh, as we are hovering in atmosphere right now, through a combination of a bunch of atmospheric thrusters, you can see there, and hover engines, and that's actually not all the uh, atmospheric thrusters. We have sort of another sort of set you can see in between the turrets. I have actually no idea if this ship could even fly in an atmosphere when fully loaded. I somehow doubt that it could, but it's just a thing. Like I said, let me know on the weight, potentially, of this crazy ship. So there's that. Also, I'm just going to put a disclaimer in. I, I You can sort of see on the underside here, um, I was kind of working on a retractable landing gear system to get this ship to land. But, you know, in traditional engineer's style, it physics kind of hates large, heavy objects interacting with something solid like the ground. And as much as I would love to have had all these gears, you know, especially, like, you'd have to land on a flat surface, right? Uh, all these landing gears, and yes, those are retractable landing gears from that mod, just to sort of make them a bit smaller as an object, uh, but as much as I'd love to have all the gears extend, uh, the ship, you know, land, connect to the ground, and then I can just shut down all engines, and or even just power down the ship. Long and the short, it kind of works. Um, if you're lucky, so you don't have any desync, and like the ship sinks into the ground, and then starts glitching and usually explodes, um, but often, d trying to then, you know, once you enable your uh, power again, uh, disengaging landing gear and making sure, of course, that you've got your th dampeners enabled to take the weight of the ship once you, lo uh, you know, detach gears. Um, I've tried it and most of the time either a few of the landing gears explode or I've had a couple of times where this entire massive ass ship did a complete freaking somersault while essentially nose diving into the ground and destroying itself. So... You know, as much as I love the concept of retractable landing gears, especially on a massive ship like this, sadly, physics does not play kindly to such a thing. So anyway, yes, let's get on inside and show you what's going on. Um, now, I would say just before, actually, um, the inside, uh, by the means of the cargo containers here, my original idea was to have a, maybe a few of, like, where are these containers are. I was going to have a few of them uh, flattened out. Instead of a container, I'd have, like, a landing pad thinking you could fly some small ships and sort of, like, you know, land them where this container is, for example, just as, like a, as a bit of a carrier as well as a transport ship. But ultimately, I decided to just go with the, uni uh, the uniformity, if that's even a word, of three decks 
of cargo containers. Now, obviously I could have used via the Industrial XL mod the uh, dense containers, so um, not the dense XL containers, but going up to the dense tier, which are the sec which are the exact same size as a large cargo container, but just hold more. I could have done, but this ship was getting expensive enough, at least in a virtually speaking, so I decided against it. Uh, anyway, yes, you can kind of see uh, what's going on for in terms of like the uh, at the front here. Sort of at the front and at the back, we have various access ramps um, going up between the different decks, uh, the three cargo decks. Uh, let's get into the front actually and just show you what's going on in the front, which is a very small amount of stuff in the nose of the ship. Um, this is the only real room in the ship uh, in the front here, which is obviously cryo storage for any crew you're taking. Uh, but as well, I have the technically overpowered, in my opinion, NPC mod. More specifically, I'm talking about um, this guy here, uh, the combat mobility, which essentially makes all thrusters and gyros have three times power. Now, I am using the 1000 times gyro mod, and I have probably over 100 of those gyros kicking around, as to hopefully compensate for the extreme amount of weight this ship could potentially experience. We have the NPC here just providing way more... Um, way more power and actually even though we only have ion power slash atmospheric for flying around this ship can you know get out of the planet's atmosphere very quickly so no hydrogen required as I say this guy <laughs> this NPC from the mod is just OP I know he's an alien like you've got he's like a freaking no neck alien but you're overpowered dude and I like what you do it just makes things a lot easier it allows basically big behemoth ships like this to have potentially the mobility and maneuverability of actually a light frigate, if not some heavy fighters, in my experience. So anyway, yes, let's just go through these doors. This is mirrored on the other side. There's almost nothing in here other than, um, what we got here? Oxygen, I believe. A few pipe access things and a battery, so it's not much going on in the sides. Through this door and this door, which is mirrored, we have the um, ramp going down a floor. And obviously the ramp going down the other floor is over here, so like I said, three decks of card containers. Although, as you saw, because of the curved nature of the hull, there is a void here in the in the armor plating, which you could put something there if you ever wanted to, but I decided not to in this instance. Um, let's run all the way to the other end of the ship so you kind of get the gist. I like how the lighting in the distance does not load correctly. Obviously this ship is a bit too long for that. Uh, going all the way to the end here, um, we just have a access ladder up and down to the bottom deck as you can see. So going through here, um, if you go all the way around the outside of the of the um, uh, containers here, there's also a ramp going up to the top. So at least at least at both ends, you can essentially jump between decks. Through to the back section here is I suppose where the bridge is and other things. Um, this sort of back top section, just kind of utility, that's the small hangar below. Got a hydrogen engine for backup power only, if I'm being honest. Med bay, a few other things, shield gem, shield controller, uh, life support. Uh, through here, so this is mirrored on the other side, but we've got a couple of hydrogen storage, just a few. As well as the um, deuterium reactor, of course. Kind of t I've kind of taken to this mod over the arc reactor. I love arc reactors. That I love the model. It is very um, pleasing mod, um, especially with the amount of power it provides. Um, but deuterium, arguably better in my opinion. Well, I mean it is better. You have, you, you have up to 30 gigawatts and with the NPC mod, I can make that into 90 gigawatts. Which just really makes the, uh, the energy shield stronger. Speaking of which, uh, energy shields at the moment um, are apparently 32.5 million at a 95% recharge rate. How accurate that is, I don't know, because this the energy shields has a bit of a... Um, I mean, deflector shield, sorry, has a few minor glitches with created mode, as the mod always keeps warning you about. Uh, anyway, like I said, mirrored on that side. Down here, piece of glass just going into the, uh, the back hangar here. This would just be uh, for small shuttles to sort of come and go, crew to come and go, and things like that. And of course, my other one of my other favourite mods, uh, the big gates mod, I believe it's called, which is, even though I use plural uh, there, implying more than one gate. No, we only have the one gate. Three by two works fine. It's just a big, it's just an oversized door. What more do I say? It's a nice mod. I like it. Uh, anyway, going back through here, the going up to the bridge, which is sort of through here. Um, now, when I say bridge, because the Rebels transport had a bridge on a small spike at the very top of the ship, 
Um, in this instance, it's buried deep in the back of the ship. Um, so you're never really, you're not exactly going to see the bridge. You can actually very, it's about, it's like a couple of pixels on my screen. Actually, you kind of can see it. Um, but yes, this is the view from the bridge. Not really much of one, but hey, it's a secure bridge, if I don't say so myself. And anyway, let's, um, let's get into the flying aspect of this. And well, you can see the weight there. It's about, what, 15 million kilos. But this ship, even on complete ion power, uh. is quite manoeuvrable, to say the least. And obviously in Earth. Handles the atmosphere with no problem, and even though I have Titan engines at the back and nothing real else, if I decide to fly upwards towards the sun or decide to leave the atmosphere, I mean, you can see the speed is going up really, really quickly. Certainly a fast ship, because the Rebels transport ship obviously was a transport pretty slow. I don't even think, was it even uh, shielded or even armed for that matter? i got no idea, but as you can kind of see, this, my speed is just increasing really, really bloody fast. We're nearly at a thousand meters per second already. You have to excuse the lag. Um, the lag, if you're wondering what's going on, um, hopefully my audio isn't lagging, uh, is actually my graphics card running out of VRAM. That always, keep, that always happens with engineers, it seems. Uh, I'm just going to wait a second for the lag to stop. Has the lag stopped? Okay, if you didn't catch what I said, I have no idea if the audio lagged. Um, but my graphics card runs out of VRAM if I leave the Earth, uh, basically, or leave any planet for that matter, so it causes massive uh, graphical bugs. And looks like we're having another lag there. Let's just uh, put the brakes on this ship. Slow down, damn it! Come on, ship, slow down, slow down. There we go. Ru ruined my video with a massive amount of lag. Apologies. Um, so. I don't know. Actually, that's actually a good point. In, um, in the comments, if any of you guys have um, used engineers, um, I would say use engineers max settings at 1440p just because of like increasing VRAM and such. Any of you guys maxed out your graphics cards VRAM because all those lag spikes, which I have no idea until I play back the video. If you've even seen this, I, I hope my audio didn't glitch out too badly um, during that. But uh, yeah, long in the short, uh, when, when I ran out of VRAM, my whole computer kind of freezes. I think that's just a bug with the 5700 XT and its drivers. I have no idea, but if it runs out of V... <laughs> I used more than 8 gigs of VRAM. This is kind of where a Radeon 7 would be uh, interesting to see how much it would use. But the game does compensate after a while, usually after some massive freezes. Um, but anyway, yes, getting back on topic, that is about it for the Iron Whale. A very strangely named cargo ship. Um, nice amount of lag there. Please stop lagging. There we go. I should probably stop recording before something else happens. And uh, yes, God damn it, stop lagging. Um, apologies for the what? Yeah, lag. God damn, this lag is just bad. Um, yes, there is an. I was about to say, there's a ludicrous amount of turrets on this ship. Well, unlike the rebels' transport, I want this thing to defend itself when it's probably carrying, I don't know, millions, if not a few bit, maybe hundreds of millions of kilos of uh, potential cargo. Like I said, someone do, someone do the maths down below. How much weight uh, 120 containers could actually hold? Something tells me it's a lot. Um, but anyway, yes. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this ship down below in the comments. Any of you guys had any uh, VRAM issues with engineers? Because let me know. I could just be a bug with my ver with my install of the game. I don't know, but just massive amounts of VRAM usage. It just it just completely kills the um, my uh, card for some reason, or at least. When I runs out of VRAM, the whole computer freezes, but that's a different story. Anyway, yes, yeah, so yeah, uh, like I said, let me know what you down below in the comments. Link to my Discord is in the description as always, and I will see you guys in about a week's time. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.